Hey fellow editors, this is Zombiple Zero doing her first tutorial. Yay me! Today's manga is your original character. Video on to look at this character is f***ing up. I am using, like I stated, Itachi manga scan. I thought the uh, facial structure was the most similar than any of the other organized or any Ikatsuki member. Um, heads up, sorry, I stutter. <laughs> Anywho, um, I'm going to change that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, first steps, so you create a new layer and fill the whole layer white. Um, then after that, you change the opacity to maybe 40 to 50. I personally like 50. Um, this layer is to allow you to see the lines you're going to be drawing but also see the background so you can you know trace the figure because you're you're drawing but you're also tracing that's what relining is um, after you do that you create another layer and I'll change your color to black make sure it's black um, before we, we start go to your brush change the brush size to one pixel and have it on your hard edge after that you go to your paths, make a new path, and you select your pen tool. Uh, your pen tool is your best friend when it comes to relining. Um, that's how we're going to reline. <laughs> Anywho, um, heads up, while doing this process, I will be switching back and forth between the images to try to figure out how to construct his look. So. Um, relining can take a bit if you're honestly not used to it. If it's your first time, it's going to take you a while. Um, I know it takes me at least up to two hours alone to reline images. So that's simply because I'm an OCD perfectionist, so I just overhaul have issues with that. But <laughs> hopefully you don't have that issue. But, um... You pretty much trace here, um, but you're also going to add in your own stuff because as you can see, Itachi's cloak is open while Koki's is open. So going to I'm going to draw the shoulders first and the rest of the body. That might be the easiest before we do the collar. But you want to try to get your lines as nicely curved and straight when it's needed. Um, sometimes if you don't do it correctly, your images look like you literally drew the picture and scanned it on your, to your computer. Which sometimes doesn't look the greatest. And, you know, sadly on roleplayer.me look you know how your edits look mean everything i mean i don't know why but it does so hopefully we look amazing well the shoku does but that's besides the bias <laughs> but after we line the figure of his sleeves and his arms i normally do multiple layers for different bot like different things, so I'll do one layer for clothing, one layer for the the body itself. But this is a kind of a quick tutorial because I haven't updated my YouTube, so I only can do 15 minute videos. So hopefully it doesn't take that long because I'll cry. I would have to make numerous of videos just to show you how to realign this freaking body. But probably after this, any relining videos that I do will be speed, so I won't be talking. But as I stated, this is my first tutorial. I thought it would be nice if I talked. For someone who doesn't like talking, I talk a lot. <laughs> I hope my voice isn't annoying. I think it's annoying. But literally, 
we're just literally tracing right now real simple you learn how to trace in kindergarten but each section you do I know some people who use one path to do every line I personally like doing multiple paths because I like to do multiple layers it's just how I edit so that's what I'm used to so I use one path for one little section. See, I just did that little thumb crease with one path. But it works. Whatever works. You know, you want to do something that's comfortable for you. You know, editing, everyone learns differently. Um, I went to college for a little bit for animation and media arts. But um, I've learned a few techniques. In all honesty, everything else I taught myself. Um, relining was taught to me by a good friend of mine who no longer role plays, which is a shame. Her edits were beautiful, simply amazing. I might just got fangirl status on you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you hear all that music in the back, it's my dubstep. Can't live life without it. Or my industrial. Those will be the two kind of musics you'll hear in my videos. If I make any more. I probably will. But I believe I have done all Here, see, you can start to see what I've traced of the figure. It looks better on a back background. Oh, a complete white background. Let's see, you can see how the lines are nice. Um, I've honestly haven't. It's, I said, it's still new to me, but it's fun once you get the hang of it. Um, I'm gonna do the face real quickly and I'm probably going to make a new layer to do it and that time I used the fill in instead of the stroke there's two ways of doing it you can literally click the path to do your stroke or you can use the little navigation at the bottom. I prefer the it reduces the time in general for your relining. And if you're a busy person like myself, whatever makes it easier for you. I'm doing the basics. Um, I do the special details normally afterwards. It's easier. So you can go back and do, you know, pretty much correct anything that might have been awkward looking to you. Um, he has a mask. So after I do the nostrils, I'm literally I'm just going to ignore the lips because that is not needed when you have a mask. Um, I put the nostrils down because it indicates that there is a bump there and he does have facial features. Um, if you don't, it just looks weird. See, there we go. I mean, I can erase the nose and. Ah, I'm sorry. 
I guess it would look okay. Actually, we'll just keep it that way. It actually looks better. <laughs> so, after that, I make another layer. Um, before I use the eraser, be sure to collect or select your brush tool again. Because if you make a stroke with your eraser as the last tool you used, it will literally erase lines if you have it on a another path or another layer that has lines drawn on it. I think I'm going to do the the collar of the cloak now to get it out of the way. Um, it's more. Let's do the back lining. So we can figure out where to do the narrow parts because you see it's closed, it's completely zipped in, so it means it's closer. But I think that will do it for that. After you, after that, I'm gonna reconnect or finish the the shoulder. Mm, that doesn't look the greatest. Mm. I'm just gonna draw it. 